What's Bracken guys? Welcome to another episode of my Everton crew mode. We're going to get this huge episode start off with a match against Tottenham at White Hart Lane. What a fixture this is going to be. As you can see with the table right here, they are sitting in second, having a great start to the season. We definitely want to jump above them. Of course, we've had a very spotty play so far. I mean, it's amazing that we're even fourth, in my opinion, because we've been so inconsistent. But uh, you'll see a fairly mixed squad out there. They're going to have Aldebayor over Kane. Uh, Sadal, of course, on the bench. Dembele, Cabal. Uh, just... Fairly mixed squad, you could say, especially with Davies out there. Cherishes, we'll see how this goes against them. As you see, the White Hart Lane faithful, the Tottenham faithful, putting up their scarves. But you can see, we are going to actually a 4 2 2 2. And uh, we're going to have Barkley out left, and we're going to have Lukaku and Selk up top together. Uh, they've been in really good form, and we just want to keep them playing together for now, just because uh, I definitely think you know they can work well. Lukaku can really do a good job getting behind defenses, and Selk is uh, more of a target man, I, I would say. Uh, we'll see Adebayor playing the ball here. Ball back around to Shadley. Good stuff from him. He's going to play the ball to Lamella. Great job from him, but Howard with the huge save. Probably could have even just gone a little bit more and finessed to the side netting, but we got away with that one. You can see Kapue back to Adebayor, and it's going to go wide. Uh, Adebayor t missing a very good chance right there. Did a good job running along that defense to stay on side, but you'll see Coleman back out wide. Uh, back to Jajelka. And back to Morales. We're going to see a ball played here from Coleman. Good tackle from Paulinho right there. Ball's going to fall back to McCarthy. Davies does a terrible job. He gives up the ball. And he's going to foul McCarthy in the box. Not sure if he even had to do that really. That's just a crazy challenge from Davies. Very bad sequence of play from him right there. Uh, that's just some very ugly stuff in general. You can see for sure a penalty. Just tugging on his shirt. Just complete tug in the box that is a for sure penalty. So we're going to have Leighton Baines take it and he's going to fire this into the right. Beating Brad Friedel. I believe this would actually make him the oldest active player. He's, of course he's the oldest active player but I forgot what the record is but Friedel again playing. Uh, interesting to see him because there's so many other keepers on their side but uh, pretty cool to see it regardless. But we'll see Barkley putting the ball into Lukaku. Friedel with a huge reaction save right there. Did well of course. Couldn't save that Lane Baines penalty but did a good job there. We'll see the ball falls back to to uh, Baines right here. Looks like this is definitely a penalty in my opinion. So I think we get away with one. Um, that kind of makes up for the strange decision by Davies to bring us down. We'll take that. We'll see. They're actually going to come back out on the break. Barkley takes too much time trying to hit an over top through a walker with a very good pass here to Erickson. And uh, just bad stuff from Joka losing the ball. Erickson was just on his buttocks throughout that. And we'll see Erickson taking a shot. Howard saves it. Tips that wide. Great stuff from Tottenham right there. Of course, they've been looking very dangerous. We'll see Lukaku Good stuff from, uh, I believe that was Paulinho on the on the uh, post. And Sel cannot hit that wide open header, essentially. Just got on top of that. We'll see Baines putting this one in now. Fall to Distan. Uh, cannot get ahead on that. It's going to fall back to McCarthy, to Naismith. Turn and take a shot. Ball's going to fall to Barkley. It just has to get that on target. It's going to go over, go wide. And we'll see Tim Howard with the ball, just jumping in joy after gra knowing he grabbed that win. That's a huge win for us. He had a couple of really good saves for us to keep us in this one. Um, I definitely say, you know, a point might have been very fair in this one, but uh, we'll take it. You can see the Everton faithful standing up, applauding. Uh, just a huge performance, huge win at White Hart Lane to move us in front of Tottenham in these standings. We'll see, actually, this is a guy I'm very intrigued by. Rice, Be Rice Bell in my youth squad. 93 acceleration, good sprint speed, uh, short passing agility. So Hopefully he can be solid for us. He's only 15 years old, so he still has some time to grow. And my youth scout is very good, so I'm very excited to see uh, um, if you know he lives up to his rating his scout, that our scout has assigned him and the like. But we'll see. In the Capital One Cup, we're facing Burton Albion, actually in the quarterfinals right here. But with that, we can still, honestly, we have very... Uh, congested fixtures coming up. Cuvillier, of course, the former uh, Stoke City product. But um, So we're going to be facing Crossendor in the next episode, as well as Manchester City, only three days after that fixture. So it's going to be very interesting uh, to see how we can handle that. So we had to put a backup squad out here, really. You see Kone actually getting his first start in his return from injury. Uh, has not played at all this season, but uh, he'll be slotting in there. Garbets, Stones, Browning, Hibbert, Robles as well. But uh, very strong side, you know, because we have a very good team all around. We can see Naismith played the ball back. Uh, just some very good build-up play here, really. Garbage is beating his man, showing some nice little bit of agility. He's going to play the ball back in the middle to Besic. He's going to keep on uh, waiting for a good run from Garbage. You can see just some beautiful hold-up play. Garbage coming down. is going to wait, turn around, 
play the ball back to Atsu. He's going to play a gorgeous pass here to Kone. And he's going to slot that in first time. What a finish from him in his first match back with the club. Um, first start, of course. And that's just a great way to show himself. Uh, of course, it isn't Bur against Burn Albion. But uh, still, it's a big goal from him regardless. And we definitely want him to continue to get into continue growing into this form. Because we definitely need more options at striker. More healthy options, especially. Because uh, we definitely have had plenty of injuries. But we'll see here. Good stuff from Osman and um, to, good job winning the ball back after a bad first touch initially but uh, message back out wide to Kone he's going to play the ball back over top to Atsu good chest control right there from him play the ball back into Kone and some good stuff he's going to just rip one and take this shot and uh, just hits that right at the keeper unfortunately they have some beautiful build up play regardless and I'm uh, very happy with the way this squad has been playing lately we'll see again ball switched out to Garbits to play a little bit of 1-2 here Atsu to Kone, back to Atsu, gorgeous one to play the, try to play the ball back in the middle, and look at this, uh, Nesma is going to find Besic right here, he's going to hit that uh, poor first touch, but he's going to hit that the volley, and a huge save from the Burn Albion keeper right there, um, some gorgeous play regardless, uh, definitely have had plenty of chances, now Naismith coming out, pressures uh, that defender right there, Kone is going to get to this one, he's going to win the ball back, and uh, just some crazy stuff right here, some good touches uh, to keep that in front of him, beat his man, He's going to finish that for a brace in his return. Huge stuff from him, and he's actually going to be playing starting up top next to Lukaku in the next episode. So we'll see if he can fare well for us in that. But uh, that is exactly what happens. You know, if you have, have a player in form uh, scoring for us, I'd like to have him play in the next matchup just to try to see if that form can keep on going. We'll see Ledson, who came on. It's going to get an early yellow right here, uh, foreshadowing what may happen to him. He came on, I believe it was... I'm not, I don't remember what minute it was. I believe it was about 60 minute or so. And, of course, just want to get him on and help him grow because he's a young player. Uh, but that's definitely not showing well with that type of tackle. But he did a good job winning initially, so I have to give him that. But ball's going to fall back, headed back here. And a good tackle, however, then lets in and is going to take down his man apparently that's a pretty soft foul to say for a yellow card but he was going on goal I guess you could say it's in a very tough spot uh, not sure if it deserved the yellow but Ledson is going to be sent off and just um, really only maybe 30 minutes a play or so uh, well Kuvalier the former Stoke City product will take this one a solid goal from him just be a consolation goal as the next kick would essentially end the game so either the way uh, nice to see them grab a goal for their own confidence but uh, it's a huge win for us you can see the Everton faithful again great traveling support from our fans but 2-1 uh, win against Burton Albion is definitely huge guys and I definitely want to keep that going you will see here in the Capital One Cup uh, basically left is going to be Stoke City then we see the Arsenal uh, then Reading uh, beat um, Tottenham Reading lost to Tottenham excuse me but we'll get into a squad report now guys so I definitely am pleased with how this squad is growing right now. Look at Tim Howard, still a solid 81. Robles, um, of course, Coleman going up slightly, pending Tim out on loan. Disson going down as well as a joke, but Stones is growing nicely. Browning especially, look at him. Definitely could be a solid center back. Galloway, who, who is growing out on loan for us. We're going to see some of these guys out on loan doing well. Garbits is growing a bit. A best hitch. Barry is going down. Grant, Aaron Lennon, McGeady. Uh, Ledson, Francisco Jr. Osmond's going down to his age. P Pinar as well. Barkley is growing. And we'll see Dave Davi Selk is growing very nicely as well. I said, you know, I just flipped this through this really quickly, but it's promising to see some of our younger players uh, the way they're growing for us. But we'll see second place now. That's tremendous so far this season. Definitely still have to face some big guns, especially with Manchester City coming up in the next ep episode, guys. Um, but uh, with that, I hope you've enjoyed this episode, and I'll catch you guys later.